I want to ask you about a subject that uh, many of our, di our viewers hold dear, and that is income trust, because I've seen your name attached to some pretty sharp criticism of uh, Jim Flaherty and the government for changing the policy on trust. Do you stand by that? Do you think they did the wrong thing? It's the biggest blunder I've seen in 42 years uh, of business involvement. I mean, and, and the enormity of the blunder has been borne out by what's happened with BC. I mean, really, at the end of the day, what's happened in this country is they've said a large pension fund is can own a company and not pay any tax on it, but you can own it in your pension plan. And that's completely, all they had to do was freeze the existing ones, let, let the, the business trusts have 10 years, allow oil and gas, which they do in the states, to have trusts, and allow real estate to have trusts to solve the problem. You know, if, if, if people admire Flaherty and, and Harper for their, you know, their, their moving, their determination, if you're driving the wrong way down a road and your wife tells you you're driving the wrong way, are you a good leader if you say, I don't care, I'm a strong leader, I'm going to keep driving the wrong way? Or do you say, hey, I'm driving the wrong way, I made a mistake. How do you I'm going to turn around and make some kind of amendment to this. How do you account for Bay Street's... Uh compliance. They're, they're, we don't hear Bay Street clamoring to get that car turned around. We hear from people that they want it turned around, but we don't hear a lot of your peers. No disrespect to present company, and no disrespect to Bay Street, who made billions of dollars selling these things, and put them in all their client accounts, yep. and abandoned everybody. No disrespect to those people. There's two and a half million people own these things. Some of them own more than one. So say there's a million voters in let me tell you, you want to know my view? The voters are going to throw these conservatives out in the next election, and it's going to be over the income trust issue. And I'd bet money on it. Do you have any confidence the replacement will change it or, or go These liberals have come time? out. The one thing we had to do is make sure that there would be a party that would represent the millions mm -hmm. of trust holders. And we've done that. The liberals have come out and said they are going to repeal that legislation. Do you trust you think they will? <laughs> I'll tell you another thing. Now, <laughs> don't get me started. There should be, if you say something on the air that's false, or you'll get sued. If I file a false prospectus, oh, there'll be consequences to me. How could a politician get up there and make a pledge? They should have 5% of their net worth pledged with, and backed up by a bank guarantee. And if they go back on their word, they should have to forfeit that money to a charity. There should be a penalty if they lie to the electorate. And there is none. They say, oh, circumstances change. In three months, they change. Come on. You know, I, I think that well, they, can't get they voted have out, to right? be they held. Can, they can get voted out. That's the Well, they penalty. do in the states, OK? They have such a thing in the states where California, they recall. That's what how uh, Schwarzenegger got in, OK? Yeah. There was a recall. And, and if they lie, there should be a penalty. I, I'm not wise enough to know what the penalty should be, but there should be a penalty just as there is for everybody else in the society that commits a crime. And lying, I think, the electorate is a crime. 